Hello my lovelies. I was just filming and you know when I sit here I thought thank god I might as well talk to you. I just got a parcel from P. Louise. Look how gorgeous that is. So you know P. Louise became famous uh, by her eye base and I've got um, her eye base but I've never really been using eye bases. Anyway, I think I was watching the other day um, Wayne, Wayne Goss and he was raving about her cream eyeshadows. They come in tubes, they like stains and she does them in so many different colours. I thought, well, I have a look, maybe I could use some cream eyeshadows and I was so surprised that um, she does so much more stuff now eyeshadow palettes um, brow stuff lip stuff so I thought I try some bits the, the thing is <laughs> the packaging it's cute but it's a bit childish you know not for a woman of 50 but I still like it I like cute things it reminds me a bit of Beauty Bakery, you know, they packaging is a bit funky and cute. I bought, she even does, <laughs> that looks like fabric conditioner, doesn't it? It's called Sin Softener. It's a soaking away the sins of you. So it's a, a bubble bath. And it looks just like a, look, even, ooh. oh, it smells heavenly. Oh, I love it. You know, I, I don't often have baths. In fact, I, I think I talked to you about it um, one Monday that I had a really nice soak and that was the first time in years, I shower. But um, when I was soaking, I didn't have any bath bubble, bubble bath, because we don't use bath, Paul doesn't either. So I got this, it's really, like, it's huge. I thought it would be much smaller. What is this? Bad bitch energy. Strawberry and cream. What is it? Afternoon tea. This must have been like a freebie because I definitely didn't order that. But look at this box. Looks like a. Let's have a look. I love the packaging. It is childish, but it's cute. Protect your pout. Okay, so this is strawberry and cream lip conditioner. <laughs> and a super hydrating formula. It doesn't really say what it is. It just say stay shining, super hydrating formula. But of what? The name is afternoon tea. I think this was a free gift because I definitely didn't order that. Oh, it will be a gloss probably. Yeah. Oh gosh, it does smell of strawberries. Now, I ordered this eyeshadow palette. The cheapest one they had because I just wanted to try the formula. And look at it, it looks like the old fashioned cassette. And it's called Team Bright. Oh, okay, so there was a, she had like a collection called Love Tapes and they all looked like those old cassettes. And oh, the eyeshadows are really big. Oh, it looks nice. Nice colors. So I'm going to try them and I'll let you know. Really nice colors. What else have I ordered? I don't remember. Oh, liquid blush, a flirty flash of color in melon mode. Oh, it's got a big sponge applicator. Oh, what else have I got? Oh, look, this is that um, lip conditioner. It comes with a clip, so you can clip it in your bag or something, have it on the go. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I can smell it. Define eyebrow gel eyebrow gel oh you know um i sometimes use colored 
eyebrow gel because I have few greys so if you've got grey hair it's nice to use so there is the color what color did i order it in hazelnut latte mochi lip pencil oh yes i wanted to try her lip pencils if i got two this brand is very very complicated to work out what it is and what is the color oh <laughs> temptation this is temptation but Oh yeah, it says on a it says on a pencil, and this one. What is this one? It's supposed to be intense color that stays on all day, and then faithful. I'm not going to be swatching them right now, and then I've got two other things. What are these? Oh, and I've ordered um, two lip um, eyebrow pencils, but minis. You can order minis as well because I didn't know if I would like the colours. So I have one in hazel, hazelnut latte and mochaccino. Right, look how tiny they are. I better keep the boxes because it doesn't look like it tells you the colour on an actual pencil. So I better keep that and I see when I try them. Yeah, and that's it. So I just thought I will try this stuff and maybe do a video with it um, and tell you what I think of it. Of course, I can't wait to try the eyeshadow palette. Yeah, it looks like a um, nice brand. They, As soon as I have ordered this, I got couple of offers through email 15% off here something off here so yes I, I hope I enjoyed this stuff and maybe order some more she does quite a few eyeshadow palettes and um, I didn't order any of the cream bases or cream eyeshadows because a lot of the colors that I wanted were sold out and also lip colors so yes but i will just try what i've got and let you know right i'm going to hospital today but not my appointment is not till 5:30 in the evening so i better take my lipstick off tame down my makeup a bit and i'm gonna go to hospital looking like that <laughs> although i not yes so i'm a bit nervous i'm trying to keep myself busy so i don't think about it and um, yeah, I will let you know when I come out of there, see what's wrong with me. All right, I will see you a bit later. Hello again. I've just arrived at the hospital. I'm very early. Well, I have about 10 minutes before I get out. I am very nervous, you know. I just hope there is nothing sinister going on but at least I'm getting it sorted so we will see started to rain brilliant I've got an umbrella yet I have I have lots of umbrellas here yes so um, I will let you know when I come out or not <laughs> depends what I've been told, mind you, I probably will have to have scans, blood tests. Although, I think when I saw her three years ago, I think she did a scan herself on me then and then. So maybe I, I have it today, I don't know. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you in a bit. I'm back, good news, I'm fine. No ovarian cancer. Uh, she scanned me, um, everything looks good, um, I'm, I'm still going to have a blood test and yeah, so she said to me that things like this bloating, she said it's very common while you're transitioning, you know, into menopause plus the mm, Mirena coil because that's progesterone and you know when you are young and you have periods 
and you have the PMT when you get bloated that's when your progesterone levels go up so she said when I have the coil out I should feel much better so I've had the coil in for three years now you do five years normally but because I've told you I haven't had a period since January now so I'm going to maybe wait to the end of the year if I don't have it then I will have it out because I worry to have it out now and get my terrible periods again so um, is that too much information but we are girls here I around the same age so I'm sure um, or if you're younger this is what is waiting for you <laughs> um, yes so she said that uh, the coil probably causes the bloating as well so I, I was so relieved you know I almost burst into tears because you never know you know so yes I'm really relieved happy I'm going to go home now and have dinner because it's what time is it it's after six o'clock down okay my lovelies thank you for your prayers if you prayed for me um and I will see you later Look at those beautiful clouds, so fluffy. What are the, those called? Cumulus. Cumulus. Cumulus clouds. Are you sure? Or are you just making it up? Nimbus. Nimbus. Are you making it up? Well, no, I know they're both types of cloud, but... Gorgeous. It's over there. That's even better, that view. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's like someone just put... Cotton wool. Big cotton wool there. That doesn't look real. Oh my god. Actually, from here, it looks like icebergs on water. Hello, my lovelies. We are out for a walk because, as you can see, it's a gorgeous day. Beautiful. I am so excited for spring. Well, spring is here, but it hasn't felt like it. So I can't wait for warmer weather and take the jackets off and boots and scarves. Lou is very excited because normally we go to the same place for a walk, but he seemed to get excited when you go somewhere different new smells and we're going this way i think he wants to get in there first oh yes he will go into the little pond yeah we come here as well but not as often he already knows where he's going i'm looking for the lake Pops like a rabbit. <laughs> he knows exactly where that lake is and he's quite a while away from here. <laughs> he doesn't care, he's just left us. <laughs> Wait, Louie, it's locked. Yeah, it looks like they've planted some new trees. Maybe you can get through that gate. Oh no, he's gone to in some horrible puddle. Not in here, Bluey. The big one. Bluey. There. Oh, no. his feet. No. Keep going. Oh. Looks. Oh, I thought they put this bench near the lake, but they didn't. And he's very tall. They should have put some benches around here. Know. Oh, look 
at all that grass that's grown here. Hello my lovelies, so we just come out for a cup of coffee, this is a beautiful hotel and restaurant like a country house type of thing, we're supposed to go, get married here, I remember we came and talked to them because they have really lovely grounds, look, there is a little pond there with a, with a bridge so it'd be lovely for uh, wedding photos and um, they have these pods can you see the pods you can eat in there I might go and video that for you it's a really really lovely place and it's not far away from where we are and we don't come here very often but today is such a lovely day we thought we'd do it let me show you So this is outdoor area, but let me show you these pods, they're really cool, they have heaters inside them, so if you're cold. Lolo, come here, don't want him to jump in that pond. Yeah, look at these pods, really nice. Come on, Lou. Yeah, it's a really nice place. And Lou, we can run around here. There is Paul with his coffee. <laughs> yes, but we never got married here. We ended up getting married in Barbados. <laughs> guaranteed weather it was lovely but yeah it would be nice here but it probably would have rained we got married in february though so definitely not a good weather <laughs> look i'm wearing the vivaya shoes do you remember i got them bought them last year they look sort of denim yeah it's warm enough to wear shoes and no boots Good morning my lovelies I am really worried about my orchid so you know I started getting this little baby but look the spike above it's gone all dry and dead so I don't know if the baby is still getting any nutrition and also I've just had to cut off this spike it was that tall but it started going all dry and woody so I don't know if my orchid is dying uh, I don't know if I should just forget the baby and cut it off short let me know if you are into growing orchids what I should do with it 
we are having very exciting weekend so we are going for a long weekend to north wales there will be four couples and i think about six dogs so we've got um a b and b quite a big place and it's our friend's birthday he doesn't know this is a surprise for him so we all going to meet up there and one night we are doing murder mystery party and let me just get my phone and i tell you what my character is okay so this party is is called murder on a dance floor dinner and my character my name is vilma waldfork being voluptuous makes it easy to look good in your flowing white bow gown being hungarian means you try to work all the national flag colors into your costume stunning red lipsticks lipstick white gown and green lingerie well it couldn't be shoes could it <laughs> so that's my brief white bow gown who has a white bow gown so i am going to fashion my own outfit i have this um tulle skirt like midi skirt white uh, tulle midi skirt and i think what i will do i have from three people like a uh, bando top and i'm going to sew around here white feathers so i've ordered some feathers yesterday on amazon I have lots of white feathers, you know, that I used to put in my Christmas tree, but they've gone a bit dusty and look a bit grey, then more, more grey than white. So I've bought just a one feather boa and I'm going to sew it around my top. So that will be my ball gown. I've got plenty of red lipsticks, but I don't have any green lingerie. Not that anybody was going to see it anyway. So I don't know, I need to incorporate somehow some green color into my costume maybe i could just have like a green ribbon somewhere i don't know but yes that that should be a lot of fun i've only ever done one um murder mystery party and it was a disaster really it was fun that we were all dressed up what what is paul paul's got a he bought fancy dress oh my god what is he basically he looks like a pimp in his it's like a uh, velvety red sort <laughs> ridiculous i actually can't remember what his character is but yeah it should be fun yes so when we did one of those years ago i i was from the era of marilyn monroe and i was some sort of um I don't know but i basically dressed up almost as marley Mar well in that style i had a blank black long dress and i did my hair like marlene so i still have photos somewhere but it didn't really work everybody was talking over each other there was you know wine pouring and i can't remember if we actually solved the mystery but yes i'm looking forward to it the only thing is we've looked at the weather and it looks like it's just gonna rain all week so i think at the end of the weekend we might get a bit better weather but that's so horrible because with all these dogs you know it'd be nice to go for lots of long way week walks wigs wigs walks <laughs> so yes i'm really looking forward to it i might film some some uh, footage while we're there but you probably would see it will see it in the next monday video so yeah i might film a bit i'll definitely show you my outfit <laughs> okay my lovelies i have to go and i'm trying to tidy up i like you know before we go away i like to tidy up so when i come back from somewhere I don't have to stress about cleaning the house so i'm going to do that we're not going for another couple of days so i still have one gym session to do before we go 
I bought a new microphone for my camera. It's a wireless one that has a transmitter and receiver. So one of these I would have to clip to myself or I've got a little lapel microphone with it because what I've noticed, so my microphone sits on the top of the camera on the hot shoe and when I do like makeup tutorials obviously it's on auto zoom so when I'm moving the camera tries constantly to zoom in on me and when I listen to the video back I can hear that sort of clicking screeching noise of the lens zooming in so I thought I'd try this um, microphone maybe it will be better I just don't like having something clipped clipped into me you know your clo clothing is no, not always conducive to that so we will see there's forever something that you need for these videos Paul has just gone to the garden center because he was uh, cleaning his barbecue and it's his pride and joy and he has like LED lights on it the knobs have LED lights on it and they are not working so he's been trying to change the fuels and didn't work so he's going to talk to the man that we bought it from at that garden center and see if he can tell him what the problem is right I better go I might finish this um, video here because I'm going to be quite busy for the next couple of days so I won't have time to to vlog really so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye